Hello everyone, Chopper Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're diving into Ash Echoes. I'm gonna give you a complete overview over the game, the heroes that's available into the game, how the system works, how to be progressing in the game as fast as possible, as well as give you some heads up on some tips and tricks you should be considering as a starter to the game. We're starting with the heroes. First, we're going to be starting completely with a single character your main hero going to be your tactical inner graving or whatever this word is, you know, it's ours for me. The director. This is the first character you're going to be getting. This is where you're going to be working on to be increasing as it's going to be supporting your other characters with some basic stats. And at the same time, it's possible for you to be putting this character as a leader in the fights you're going to be going into to be giving some extra stats to the heroes you're going to be having into the fight and then we're having the other heroes that you're going to be increasing their in, uh, inner graving to be putting them as a leader and then you will be replacing your own character going to be put as a support to them to be giving them some extra stats as you can see i'm already having three characters i'm working with so the next one going to be the complete characters you're having we have an echomancer as it's called in the game here you will be able to see all kind of characters you have got. We're starting with the six stars, which count the legendary. For me, um, I have been lucky to get Fura and Fer uh, Ferny, and they are from the water element. As well as we have in five stars, there is as well four stars, and there is even lower. There are three stars, I think so, and all of them is working together, especially with the. Uh, Next thing I'm going to be mentioning is the element effect. Like checking this legendary here. She's from the water element. And the water element can actually be working with the other elements to be given some extra stats, extra effect into the field. This is something that makes this game actually different from all the gacha game. Like we can be taking the, as an example, checking the elements here, the water. You can be checking here. Water Echomancers deals water damage. Certain Echomancers skills can generate water zone. Like we can be taking this legendary I'm having here. She got one of the skills to be actually making a zone for the water. Water zones drawn in laughter. So this is one of the things you should be considering. Working on having team that's having the elements to be working together. And then we can see over here. The enemies inside a water zone takes 10% more water water damage. So that's another reason of why combining the heroes that's having the same element or element that will be working with this element to be given some extra damage. As well as in here we can see the extra effect from having heroes from the water as well as the lightning. So this is one of the main reasons why to be actually checking the elements to know exactly how to be building up your teams. Like here we have the electro conduct. This is when a target inside a water zone takes a lightning damage. It triggers this effect and applies paralyzed to the enemy units within the zone, rendering them unable to take actions. Does not clear the water zone as well. It will be still affecting the enemies but not gonna be removing the water effect. As well as if combining the water with the fire, then we're going to be having the vaporizing. And this will be having 50% less damage to the allies that is standing in this area. So this is really such a great effect from the elements in the game. And what's making Echo or Ash Echoes different from all kind of gacha games. For the next tip going to be how to be progressing into the game we're starting with the main story if we go into the world you're going to see that this is all the stories that's available or the campaign this is the first one we're starting with is uh, the stories and then we're going to the next one and so on so trying to be progressing in this one going to be really important and once we're unlocking the next thing the nexus this is going to be one of the main thing you're going to be actually working the most over to be pushing as far as you can with the heroes as you're going to be increasing their inner graving which is going to be actually 
having this hero to be possible to use it as a leader in the fights. And it's going to be actually giving more of the effects to the teams that you're working with. And for the next thing going to be um, the memory trace, we can take this one as some extra special cards to be given some type of bonuses to the heroes that you're having we're taking the ssrs this is the highest one and some of them is actually possible to get completely for free like the three i'm having here i got them all for free i'm going to talk about this in a separate video how to be getting them for free and all the kind of things that is important to be knowing so Make sure to be subscribing to the channels and turn on the notification bell to not be missing these videos. For the next one going to be the field OBS. This is going to be one of the most important things to be trying to clear once you're having a level unlocked. We're taking the tower here, the Skyrift Observation. We have having different ones in here, each one of them having a different rewards. Like here it's rule based operation. This is can be work with all the classes but the other three having a specific class that's only going to be working in here like here we have in the vanguard the pole work as well as the striker and the, here we have in the scry measure ranged as well as the tactics and support when we enter this one we're going to see we have in a different levels of ta uh, of floors here this is always good to be clearing this one to get the first time reward which including the X particle and the officer XP. And this is something you should know that in the game here we don't have something called the level like any other games. It's changed or it's kinda, it's still the same leveling but with a different system. Like if we go to the commencers, here is the heroes. It's all coming into the escansions this is the level of the heroes the next level going to require to collect these resources to be able to upgrade the hero to the next escansions which are going to be increasing the effects from the skills and giving some extra engraving stats as a leader as well all kind of heroes that's available in the game is possible to be putting them as a leader checking the scans are here you see all of them actually possible to be using them as a leader so that's why it's really important to be working on the nexus and to be trying and working with the different heroes gonna be really important like if we go there then you can see you can actually select anyone you want and once you select it then you will be going to the next and then you can check which uh, traces you would like to use so this is really good to know in the store that you need to be working on the nexus as quick as possible. And if you don't know how to be increasing the engraving rating, all you have to do is just press on it over here and then you can go to the engraving list. And then this is the heroes that have an engraving that's possible to be using them as leaders. But if you don't want to be just using this one and you would like to use even others, you can be pressing on this one you will know exactly how to be increasing the overall engraving as well as from where to be getting them. It's mainly from the Nexus, but it's possible from the simulator. And this is something as well still connected to the Nexus. So it's basically going to be working the most on the Nexus to be increasing the engraving rate. Back to the heroes. Over here, it's really important as well to be working on upgrading the combat skills. It will be require some resources. Basically, the basic ship range, this is going to be one of the most sources that's going to actually eat your stamina. So you need to be extremely careful when it comes to upgrading this one. So when it comes to skills, it's always good to actually check which heroes you're going to be using, which teams you're going to be building together to be working with them. And then you can be working on the skills of these heroes. As an example, I haven't really figured out yet a team for me but we can be taken as an example i'm having a yukai here because he's an electric tank which i truly like and then combining him along with the six stars hero furai and uh, furner they will be both of them doing a combination of skills she's going to give the water zone which going to be helping yukai to be given the 
electric shock to the enemies to be paralyzing them. And not only him, but any kind of electric element heroes can be working with them. We have him priest over here as well. So combining heroes together is one of the most important things you should know to be able to get ahead into the game. Moving on to the next one. Going to be if you're considering spending into the game or if you're a mini spender, I'll say getting these two heroes we have in a uh, big way now as well as mm, there was another one over here. I can't really. Mm, where is she? Yeah, there is other one here, Ferna, uh, or I don't really remember the name, but anyway. Mm, there is some of the heroes that you will be getting from just like if making one dollar par case going to be really, really giving you a great ahead in progressing into the game. And logging in daily is one of the important things. Even if you don't have much of time to be doing things, at least make sure to be logging in to get the free items, including the summon cards too. And we have in the stamina as well. So this is one of the important things to be checking out and making tracking of. And then moving to the seed dome. This is a place where you can be upgrading your hero's skills and partly as well as collecting some resources like the uh, the muscle training. This is for a training device specifically designed to enhance the musical endurance designed for fitness training for Equimancers. So this is the item can be used to be improving the level or the uh, escansion of the heroes. We have in the training room, this is going to be as well increasing some physical not really physical activity, but you know, some type of stats, like we can check this hero here. She will be increased for the um, the vet as well as the attack bonus and the MST, uh, MST bonus with percentage. So this is here. You should be trying at least to get all heroes you have to level three or at least the main team you're using. And then we have in the central command. This is where we can be upgrading Locking even more further into the seed dome. It's not required much, but it's really a good area that will be worked on later to be increasing the resources gathering. Leaving this area and moving on to the next step, going to be the events. Event calendar. Here it's Really good to be checking out to know exactly where you need to be working on and how to be progressing. Check into the trial here. This is going to be including the heroes that's going to be available in the featured event. Like um, if going to the summoning. I can't even remember where is the summon. Well, I haven't done any summoning. So, yeah, it's very tight. Yes, over here. This is a trial going to be including the heroes that's available in the limited time summon where you can be trying them, checking out their skills in the actual combat and you will be in exchange of the time you're going to consume, you're going to get some extra of the X particle, like moving to the event trial. If, if fixing this one, you're going to get 30 of the X particle and you have an idea of how this hero works in case if you decided to be summoning for this hero especially the ones that are going to be summoning for a big amount it's really good to be going for this one and at the same time it's some free resources you know so yeah this is the most important information that i can come up with there is another one i'm trying to find out where it's related to the uh, trying to find it somehow I have kind of have miss, missed it to be honest ah. got the database of it can't even um you know it's still hard to be getting to know where everything is in here like I'm still trying to find my way in here One. I know sometimes I'll be extremely clumsy. 
Is this in the world? No. It's supposed to be the one where you're going to be working on the quests. Where is this one? I can't really remember. And yeah, uh, something I forgot to mention is the part with joining a club. Joining a club or an alliance is one of the most important things which I apparently haven't done yet. To be able to get some resources from the shop that's exclusive for the alliance. I will be talking about this in a separate video, but you know, it's always good to actually join an alliance. Like, well, let's say, okay, just send the request. And then we have in the exclusive event, the Voyager and the Everlasting Shadows. This is where we're going to be investigating things and going to be getting some materials as well. And it's going to help out with a, a souvenir shop where we can be getting an SSR trace card and some summons too, as well as some other resources that's going to be helping out in a later stage into the game. I'll be checking the event more properly and make a video about it to talk and explain things in this one. So moving on in here. I guess that's all really. Now checking the level. The level going to be increased by collecting the officer experience and by checking how to redeem or to earn it. You're going to see every area we're able to collect experience which is really good thing to know especially because sometimes you will be feeling lost you don't know where you will be going to get experience and things like that and then we're having these extremely important quests the the false quests this is going to be pretty much your direction where you will be following in the start as it's going to be including some summon scrolls and some extra resources at the same time, it's going to give you a standard contract with a 6 stars hero. So you're going to get the free 6 star heroes after finishing some quests. And the same for having the daily ones. This is going to be including daily activity, which is going to be giving you some extra resources, including a blank ship, which is going to be used in some shop. And then the weekly, which you will be actually having it getting done by doing the dailies. And the field OBS guide. This is where you can be keep tracking of the things if you have got lost like how I did right now. And you will be able to find your way through this one all. So yeah, this is the complete guide for AH Echoes guys for how to be progressing, what you need to know in the first week and how to be finding your way into the game. Make sure if you if I have missed anything to be sharing it with us in the comments. I'll be more than happy if you share it and subscribe to the channel to not be missing any of my videos in the future. For now, take care and enjoy your game.